Hey YouTube and welcome back to another Maya tutorial. Today I want to show you guys something that I personally think is really cool and it's uh, the Gobos uh, function and I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right or not but anyway just check it out it's cool. So you probably saw at some point that like in a bar or at, or at a, like a concert or something like that they slide an image in front of a light source and then that uh, image is projected on the wall. Well that's what we're going to do today. So uh, let's go. So what I did is uh, I created a simple ground plane and a, a, a wall just to have something to project it on but you can create anything you want and what we're gonna do is we're gonna move in and we're gonna create a light source and ideally for this we're gonna use a spotlight so we're gonna create a light go to spotlight we're gonna drag that up we're gonna drag it out and we're going to scale it out a little bit. So hit R to scale it, make it nice and big, and E to rotate it so that it's pointing roughly where you want it. Like so, something like that. We're going to do a quick render to see what the light is looking like. That's a bit small. So I'm going to pull it back a little bit more a little bit up and I'm going to scale it out with R again to make it even bigger and okay uh, okay that's starting to get there okay so now we're going to zoom in to roughly the area <coughs> where the light should hit the wall I think something here render again okay a little bit up um, something like that. All right, that's good enough. Alrighty, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to select that image to stick in front of the light source, so to speak. So we're going into the attributes of the uh, the spotlight shape, and if that doesn't show up, uh, hit Control A. And in the area where it says color, we're going to click on this little checkered box. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select File, and then in this folder here, I'm going to go to my desktop. And what I did is I found a, a black and white image of Harley Davidson Motors online. And uh, <coughs> considering I'm a fan, you know, I thought that was a good choice. All right, <coughs> and I'm going to open that. Now, this image is now in front of the light source. Um, because this is an image with text in it, you need to make sure that it's the right side up. So we're going to do a quick test render to see if it's uh, showing correctly on the wall. And it's upside down. All right. So that's no problem. We just quickly select the uh, light source and we're going to rotate it. Like something like that. And we're going to do another render. So that's how you project it on a wall. Uh, you can use this for all kinds of cool stuff. In this case, it's a projection of a logo. But let's say you want to simulate um, light uh, through a window with a silhouette of, I don't know, a tree or something in it. If you got a black and white image uh, of a tree, then it looks like that is just light coming from outside. So uh, I thought this was pretty cool. I wanted to share it with you guys, and uh, I hope you like it. And uh, if you do, uh, likes and subscriptions are appreciated. Thank you.